All right. Here we what are. a thing of beauty. Yep, here we are. What's up, Lo? Welcome to the show. So, oh, what a thing of beauty. Hola. How are you the fuck today? I know. These transitions, Steve is a professional. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional like at finding free shit to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty good at what he does. I'm a little bit too lazy on my streams. I just kind of just throw the first thing up I see that I like, and I'm like, here we go. Let's go with that. <laughs> well, God, I mean, Alex, if you think about it, how many different variations of the background and shit have I done so far? I'm I'm, so, I'm set on this one. It, this I like this one. It's simple. Uh, it works. Um, I was able to get... Hello, Mr. Denon across the pond. How are you? Um, so, you know, it's... It looks pretty good. I mean, for what it is. I mean, for a guy who had never done this, I think it turned out okay. <laughs> you know, every free resource I could damn find. So, I can't complain. <laughs> um, I want to see a Smash... Is it a... What, Super Mario 2 background? Super Mario 2, yeah. Well, I'm working on a background for when we do video game talks. I'm not real sure. I mean, I want to... Oh, suck my two balls. Oh, nice. No, I don't think that'd be appropriate. I'll I actually straight up have owned. a green screen. <laughs> low, go eat, go, low. Here. go eat some Fermunda cheese. Anyway, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so this has started out with a bang. Yeah, no topics tonight. Um, and you know random whatever you guys want to ask questions ask questions you want us to talk about weird shit we'll talk about weird shit the only rules are no politics no religion no covid anything else on the table let's go um yeah, let's get it but uh one sec i'm steve i'm gonna grab my green screen just to prove a point in three seconds you have a green screen oh wow ladies and gentlemen this episode is a work in progress Everybody compliment Alex on his new background. He got out of the um, the kitchen. <laughs> so there's no microwave in the back. Um, but. Oh, what is this mess? Alex. This is my green screen. Alex, fun fact. When you do the green screen, then I actually have to apply the, um, the keying on my end. Oh, my meme, my meme was going to be, uh, to just literally do my kitchen for the green screen background. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's just a meme. It'd What's up, funny. Archer? It just throw you off. How are all the various channels and blogs going? Um, it is a slow burn. Um, we're sitting at 29 subs on YouTube, <laughs> um, which you know, I can't really complain. We just started this thing on February 1st. So, you know, the one thing I'm noticing is the, the viewer retention is getting better on the videos on YouTube. So, you know, the average length of videos are pretty good. Obviously, there's been a lot of traffic from, um, from Reddit, uh, which is good, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, obviously, Mr. Denon, as you know, slow grow. Over there in Reddit land, last I checked, we were at 54 members, but not getting a whole lot of interaction on there. So I don't know how to fix that. So we'll just keep keep it up and keep contributing and see what happens. Um, never a whole lot going on on Twitter. Facebook interactions really, really, really good. Um, a lot of our interaction on these chats comes from Facebook. Twitch is hit or miss. Twitch, if we're doing, you know... Um, Video game topics, obviously on Twitch, those, those videos do well, but we're still sitting at, I mean, the last video yeah, on Twitch, you can honestly build Legos and you can get thousands of views. I know that's really, really sad, matter. but, but the one thing I enjoy about it is we make our own way. I'm not jumping on any trend. I'm not trying to, to do the next big hot thing. This is what I want to do. And if people like it, that's great. And if they don't, well, there, there's the door. <laughs> You know, Lego stream confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Only, only if it's yes. a Lego stream where you have to walk on them barefoot. 
No, 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 Steve. No, 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 no. No. If that's what the fans want. <laughs> hey, it's like retail. The customer's not always right, bro. No, no, no. If the fans want it, they're getting it. I build them Legos. But I like Legos. But yeah, Mr. Denon, I mean, I think it's, you know, being roughly 30 days into it. And you got to think, you know, the retail war zone, we didn't really start in earnest until about the middle of February. So, you know, I think Wednesday is going to be an interesting topic. Um, you know, for those who are unaware, Wednesday size doesn't matter. It's what you do with it. Amen, sir. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but Wednesday is going to be interesting. Um, Wednesday, we're going to talk about paid disparity between males and females in retail. Um, and then we'll kind of venture into how women are treated overall. Um, the poll is, is not really surprising to me, Mr. Denon, because it's kind of hard to, uh, what's the word, um, evaluate that because I've received like private messages and stuff where people were, there's some dudes that are really pissed off about that mess. And they, I took down the save the date post today because people keep going in and downvoting it. I'm like, God bless sexism is real. I mean, they just don't want to talk about it. And, um, like I was explaining to you, especially here in the Southeast, it's really, really prevalent. And I know plenty of females who can attest to that. So I, I'm not by, there's a whole lot of rage votes in that man, a whole lot. And Komodo hype. But the one thing that you did mention in the poll was where you saw where somebody negotiated their salary. Yeah. That's something that shouldn't really be happening, but it does over here. You know, you go in and negotiate a salary and I kind of think that's bullshit. I mean, I think it should be open. This is what you get paid to keep it moving. And you know, cause everybody's situation is different. You might have somebody desperate to get a job and they're going to take the lowest figure. And then, you know, it's like, Oh, you're, you're locked in. And then some dude comes in and is like, yeah, well, I want, you know, this and this and this and this and this, and they just do it. You know, I, I think that's, uh, you know, um, pretty shitty. Wait, that's, uh, that's actually officially pog champ now. <laughs> what? Wow. That's the official pog champ. Um, but yeah, what you guys want to talk about? This, this is, we just chilling tonight, man. We, we, we figure we're going to save all our energy for Wednesday because that possibly could get heated. <laughs> So I'm going to, I'm, I'm, uh, tonight's going to be keep my blood pressure down night. So, oh, um, good. We won. We, yes. 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 We won. We got Komodo hype for park champ. Sorry. Somebody clipped that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, boy, I can't wait to go back and, and, and rerun the video on this so I can get some more cutouts of you, Alex. I got. I got to remember to do that. That you got me in like super hyper HD clearness. I know, with right? Nice. But if you look very carefully, chat, the microwave is still there. If you just look for it, <laughs> we still have the microwave. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the episode of fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> got my check for oh, hours just... worked off the clock at the tree. What? What? What are you talking about? Yo, when did can't be working off? When clock. when did this happen? And how, how do tell? Let, let, let's hear it. <laughs> also, Logan, I would definitely get a Super Monkey Ball background for a video game topic. That sounds amazing. Super Monkey Ball g golf is amazing. No, Super Monkey Ball just in general well yeah like but but expert. but golf and pool man the pool game was great and and it's kind of it's, it's kind of think about it man oh, you're abusing the bowling, you're abusing the, the the monkeys man i mean surely they got concussions and brain damage from all that shit nah, nah, they're they're going to the moon yeah okay day trader huh. <laughs> um you know hey mr denon question for you music over there what's popular is it the same horrible radio shit that we have over here or like all these like young girls that came through the disney factory or do y'all actually have some culture and get to hear some cool stuff uh 
All three sound good. The two I said and what you just brought up, Addicts. Yes, sir. Nice, Russell. You mean for breaks where you there, couldn't go anywhere? Yeah, that too. There was a lawyer's office that filed suit against Tree. I was worked off the. Oh my! I'm going to my first uh, concert in October. You're going to see Shine Down, correct? Go? I was actually going to say, who you going to go see? I'm aware of who she's going to go see. <laughs> Man, that's, that's not it's not fair, Steve. That you just but the radio's full of shit. Same here. I, I'm I'm a '80s metal guy, you know. So, you know, I'm old now. So a lot of the music I grew up with is now on classic rock radio. So that's awesome. My wife hates it because she's heard enough of it without yeah, hearing a, on the radio. But it, it's it's yeah, it's he's an knows. old man. He's an old man. I like modern music. Give me any kind of rap. Give me any kind of pop. Give me anything. This is this it. is the way. <laughs> oh, you about to play us a riff? Hit us, hit us with a beat. I don't hit have that set up, but I could. Um, yeah, Shine Down, uh, Queen, fantastic, fantastic band. One of my favorites, and. And my wife is sick of hearing me saying this. George Michael should have been their singer after Freddie Mercury died. Period. Oh my God. Or what, Alex? Or- I, I am, I am also a weirdo. Alex, I do. Ho- ho- hold, hold up, hold up, to hold up, hold up. What's up? Hold up. Were you, were you, were you dissing me saying George Michael? What? Were you dissing me saying George Michael should have been the singer for Queen? Oh. I was fixing to say, we about to. I don't know. I was we, reading chat. Oh, we about to fight. <laughs> but if anybody, right. but if anybody I mean, questions that, then you know you need to go look at the <laughs> Freddie Mercury tribute concert and watch George Michael with Queen doing somebody to love. It's amazing. Although he wouldn't be a really good singer now, of course. I'm down. I'm with it. I like it. Uh, the fuck today, I will say this and you're, you're not, you're not going to like this. Um, Oh, look at there. I got it. Snipe. I got it. Snipe it. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, the fuck today, I could go the rest of my life without hearing simple man (laughs) ever again. And no, I don't think Sean Downs version is that good because the song is just nerve grating to begin with. But the rest of our catalog's pretty damn good. Oh, the no, singer's I'm awesome. A big <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some followers <laughs> real quick. Um, Evanescence, they're Thank good. Thomas, um, play it ten thousand times a day. God, you need to get some more material, ma'am. For those of you out there that want new music to listen to, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something. Um, but here's some bands to check out. If you like female lead singers, go check out a band called Within Temptation. Oh, Steve. Yes. That's something for you to look into. What? Because I keep on meaning to look into it for my channel. But Better TTV, good extension to have. Because you'll get all kind of emotes and shiz for people to use. It's not a color. Like Archer brings up a really. The chat's not a color. Archer book. brings up a really good point. Okay, we'll look into that. Butcher Babies. Yes, sir. Of course. And, and uh, Russell, you do not like them for their musical quality. I'm just calling you out on that right now. I know exactly why you like them. <laughs> Has to do with black electrical I tape. <laughs> I have nothing. I have no knowledge on that subject. If you guys got browsers pulled up real quick, pull up Butcher Babies and let us know what you think in the chat. That ought to be fun. Speed running. I want to know your opinions on speed running. Speed running. Look, I I don't. It, it's not for me. I, I don't really see the point in it, especially when you are, you know, using exploits and glitches. I mean, isn't that really kind of cheating? You know, to me, a true speed run would be how how quick can you beat a game legally? 
Anything else is just bullshit. It's not cheating. Oh, okay. Like I said, not for me. No. I, I, my idea of a speed run is if I beat my own time on the Mario Kart track, that's it. <laughs> Or, yeah. or, or, it's or if I could be Alex faster in, in a level of Tetris. Well, I mean, that's not that hard to do, Steve. I mean, that was an ass whipping son. Could, that was an like, all out ass whipping. I could probably, I could probably lose a game of Tetris to a brick wall. I'm pretty bad at Tetris. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to deny that statement, but I give you props. Yeah, no. I give you props for jumping in the fire. Cheating is modifying the game to get I mean, an unfair advantage that wasn't originally there. Okay, but speed running off of exploits and mods. What mod is it that you see this being used, though? There's several like, videos I've seen where people use, like, modded ROMs. Now, oh, yeah. now Archer, I do Our agree Archer. with that. It does require some crazy good skill and tons of time to learn. You are 100% correct. It does. I mean, because you have to learn how to do it and it's trial and error and, and you keep going the, and keep going. And then, then it becomes, you know, muscle memory, a large part of it. The thing is, Steve, whenever you run a game, you have to go to speedrun.com and they give you the exact rules. You can't use any like third party things like modded versions of the game. Like, like Logan just said, there is a such thing as practice ROMs that just allows you to practice the game over and over, but you can't use anything that will actively help you. Like they ban like turbo controllers and all that stuff. Man, I remember when turbo, have you ever, I remember when turbo controllers came out. That's how old I am. <laughs> oh, I do too. Yes. The, now task runs. Yes. Those are, those are interesting because that requires them to actually program a bot. But that's for stuff that's not humanly possible. And just to see, like... Got squirted by a green oh, pepper. That completely distracted me to fuck um, with me. Uh, what, that, what, what did you do to the green pepper to make it piss on you? And yes, task runs are amazing Ooh. to watch. But it's just because we know as humans, we, we can't. Alex, did you, did you see the video I posted on Facebook about the top, like... They ranked all the Batman video games. I didn't watch it, but I did see that you posted it. Well, that. number one was Arkham Asylum. Um, number three was Batman the Animated Series game. And number two was oh, um, an older Batman game. So, I, I wasn't far off when talking with Brandon about and that. Not, and not Arkham City. No. Um, the best Batman game. That's that's crazy. So they went through a lot. I mean, they even went through like Game Boy games and shit. Have y'all played Assassin's Creed Valhalla? No, I have not played that yet. Um, I have not. However, my good buddy that's in the chat, Archer von Krieger, he has. Archer, is it and is it any good? It. I keep reading mixed reviews on it. He keeps on recommending it to me. So it must be is it is it better than good. Odyssey? That's a question for you. Silence. I know. So, what else we want to talk about? Well, We're not going. This isn't going to be a total video game combo. Let's get into some weird shit. What y'all got? What? No, 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 Steve. It'll take him a minute to answer because stream delay is a thing. Like, they don't hear what we say until about, like, 20 seconds later. Yeah. Valhalla is a refreshing take on the formula that Odyssey gave us. Hmm. I'll check it out when it goes on sale. Uh, I didn't want to pull the trigger on, like, uh, you know, full price on that. I mean, hell. R right now, I'm still playing. Um, I spend a few hours a day doing uh, 3D World. Tetris. 3D World. Uh -oh. I need to get back and finish <laughs> damn Phoenix Rising. I got so wrapped up in doing all this stuff and getting stuff set up for the streams that I just dropped off of that. So I need to go back. I went back in today, see what has, what's on Game Pass now. Not a whole lot's changed, but now that the Bethesda acquisition is official, um, and I think there's going to be a stream sometime either I think it's next week 
uh, where Bethesda and Microsoft talk about what's going on with that. And that's when Sony fanboys get their hearts broken. And I predict that they're going to be pissed off because all that shit's going to be exclusive to Xbox now. They're going to be real mad when Skyrim comes out and it is Xbox exclusive and launches on Game Pass. Oh, it ain't. It ain't going to be. Uh, when Skyrim comes, Steve, you know how many times Skyrim is released? Dude, with Elder Scrolls. The, talking the, I'm, talking Elder about, Scrolls I'm talking about yeah, Elder Scrolls 6, yeah. So anybody who does not think that Microsoft is not going to leverage this to be all exclusive, man, y'all... Y'all on drugs because they got the shit wrapped now. I mean, think think about this. You know, what if Doom was exclusive? Okay, the fuck today. What do you want to talk about? Blah 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 blah. Boy stuff. Lol. All, hey, all, be, all topics are open. Too. Throw something out. Let's go. <laughs> We just, we just sit here and stare at the scene. I do want to go on record as saying play. I don't care to hear another fucking thing about Meghan Markle and Prince whatever his name is. I, I, I don't give a shit about any of that. And God, it, why that's headlining news is maddening to me. So there. There's my soapbox for the day. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> How do you feel about talking about stonks? Uh, well, GameStop's rising again, but you know, the biggest reason it's rising now because, you know, they added the guy to the board of directors who started Chewy and I live in a home that has utilized Chewy a lot. And, um, yeah. (laughs) When will the government admit we already have in our program? What, what, when will the government admit we already have if in our program, <laughs> or in, are you talking about UFOs? No, no, no. I know, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's talking about the uh, the space force, Steve. I know he's talking about space force, but in relation to what? The space force. Thank you. We Thank you. De- we have a Death Star on our moon. UFOs. <laughs> there we go. That's the answer I was looking for. Oh God! Um, <laughs> oh God! Yes, I did see the space hotel they are planning. That's interesting. Um, and I think it's what by twenty twenty five, they're trying to do that. Um, All I know is your boy is trying to sell a game stonk stonk, so I could go to that space hotel. Good luck. I'm going to the moon. <laughs> um, you're going to the moon. Um, the space hotel looks extremely cool. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is great. You know, oh, speaking of SpaceX, did you guys watch the last SpaceX test? It sucked that it blew up, but the fact they landed that fucker, that's huge, man. That is huge. And mm-hmm. going to Mars, baby. And, and can we talk about the fact that, you know, we can have all this stuff practically working here on the planet and we're going to send however many of the first people to Mars are and there's a 50-50 chance they're going to die before they even get there. That would suck. Thanks, Lo. That's why I'm... Um, but, you know, you've got all these scientists coming out and I saying, oh, it's such a bad idea to send people to Mars. I mean, you know, you got to terraform it. You, if, if you want to expand from here, you've got to go somewhere, and Mars is about the best shot we got. So, nah, I like ooh, on the edge. how I like much of Venus. Bob Lazar? Oh, you are a man after my own heart right there, sir. How much of Bob Lazar's story do you believe? Do you think anything he said isn't legit? I think there's probably parts of it that aren't really above board, but for him to have stuck by that story without changing for so many years i you know with element was it element 115 you know there's a lot of stuff that's happened since then that's been kind of proven to be true um i don't buy his existence getting erased by the government but i do believe that he worked at area 51 and i do believe that he saw what he said he saw I really enjoyed him on Joe on the Joe Rogan show. 
that's a great video to watch if you're into that kind of stuff. <laughs> that dude almost got probed. That dude almost got whacked. And I really think the government kind of let him go off and do his thing to kind of discredit him to kind of run interference to the truth. Because here we are now sitting in the year 2021 where the government's all but said it's real. But we too busy watching TMZ and worried about the Queen and Meghan Markle and shit. There's like really big important news going on out there that nobody just notices or cares. Yes. Um, although I will say this guy that Lazar's got go Jeremy Corbel, I think that's his name, that did the film uh, with Lazar. That guy's got crazy in his eyes. There'll be some sort of divorce between those two because Corbel's just riding his coattails. Maybe Megan is an alien. May mm. oh, don't don't diss on aliens like that, man. That's they fly here from like millions of light years away. She mad because she in the palace. Um, do I want to build a snowman? No, I don't want to build a fucking snowman. Uh, no, I really go. Yes. Now that's the thing too. <laughs> German World War II science. Yes. I mean, we got Werner von Braun, you know, out of World War II, and you know, so he was huge. Uh, unfortunately with what happened with the nuclear program, but he was also huge with the advancements that we've made. Um, also too, look up Dr. Carol Rosen. Um, she talks about working for Von Braun and about what government would use to kind of control the masses. And, uh, it's, it's an interesting watch, so to speak. Uh, let's talk about adults that can't freaking count. Is this people who can't count tills down or is this people who can't count out change is this people who can't count anything i'm assuming this is this is retail related one two <laughs> four seven wait a minute twelve here it's a quarter i got i got this nice shiny canadian piece of money does this count <laughs> all oh. of the freaking above <laughs> Welcome to retail, ladies and gentlemen. But speaking of retail, real quick, I need one more manager or associate that would like to get involved in doing a live stream. I am currently up to including myself and Alex. There will be five of us. I want an even six. Totally anon. <laughs> we can use whatever picture you want to use. Um, you don't have to be on camera, but. I would like to that to do that sooner rather than later. I think that will be a whole hell of a lot of fun. I have customers that can't count how many masks they need. It's only one. <laughs> well, Mr. Denon here in the United States, they say it needs to be two. But we're not going to get into that because that, that'll cause a shit storm. We'll get deplatformed. <laughs> what? Uh, Mr. Denon, are you guys trading euros? Is that your method of payment there? Or are you guys what using pounds? You can't read. What about peeps that can't read after living like 28 years? <laughs> well, yes, you're a... <laughs> I have family members that can't read. <laughs> um, you know, it's an essential skill. Yeah. But, you know, look, there are some undereducated people out there and you have to wonder why. Okay. So. No, no, no. I, no, no, no. Steve, if you can't read the word the. No, that's 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 unfair alex and i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> because you're not a parent you don't have kids you don't have somebody in your family who was involved in the pta trying to help out kids whose families gave no shits about their education and schools past them and we're talking young kids that you go to help I'm them. I'm no, no, about, but that's where I'm talking about like a, but that's, -ass man but right that's now. where it starts. Alex, they weren't educated. Hey. They had parents that did not care that they learned anything hey, as a high school degree. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and they just, they just pass kids along just for the sake of passing them. You know, I know for a fact from personal experience, my wife has worked in the PTA. My wife has worked with, different students 
that should have been at like an amazing reading level that could barely read the word cat. And it's because their parents looked at schools as a fucking daycare. So they didn't have to deal with them. Didn't care what their grades were. They were too busy sitting at home, smoking dope and doing drugs. And you've got these kids who are trying really, really hard and the school system's passing them because they're told to. It's just heartbreaking, man. You can pass pass just solely on attendance. Uh, Dyslexia is a real big thing. You can live honestly without being able to read. We live thousands of years without it. Oh. Um, I actually suffer a little bit from mild dyslexia, believe it or not. Among other things. Um, Oh, believe it or not, well, my best employees over here could not read or write. He had shitty parents, but a great guy. And that's a a large part of it. Um, But, but here's the thing. One of the best employees I ever had was deaf. And you know how amusing it is when you get a Karen coming up to you saying, I spoke to this associate and he didn't say anything to me. (laughs) Those were fun. And those were many. Oh my God. (laughs) Being able to look at this woman and say, ma'am, he's deaf. And just watch all the blood just pour out of their face and go like ghost white. And this dude was great, man. He was a fantastic employee. Uh, Worked his ass off. But yeah, I mean, he'd be out on the floor. We didn't keep him out on the floor much, but he'd run out there to run stock or something like that. And sure enough, some lady be like, hey, can you help me? Hey, can you help me? And she's infuriated because she never got like, you know, where he could see her. And, you know, all of a sudden he was an asshole that didn't want to help her. And oh my God, it was so great. T at the tree. Refresh my um, refresh my memory on that one. Agree to disagree on what? Yeah, Loja, I'm getting to your chat right now. But yeah, because due to me being 14 and not caring about keeping up with some random news, although I probably should know more, the topics I can weigh in are a little limited. That would be up. That would be a group decision between me and Steve. Uh, it's be a little complicated because you, <laughs> you are 14. Yeah, that like, that does complicate things, unfortunately, because all it takes is one hater, one person to get pissed off, and then we're all just screwed. That is how that how that happens. Um, we've talked like, about this. I, I think I think it's unfortunate, but it, you know, I really I really want to get you on the show, like regardless, but because you are like very smart. And, you know, you do have a lot of insight into things. I would like to get you on. But, you know, me and Steve just got to play it safe. <clears throat> but I definitely do want to get you on, though, like at some point. So maybe we get you on who? later in the future. Yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, who are you talking about? T at the tree. T. <laughs> I don't I don't remember. You know. Retail's a blur, and there's a lot of this shit I try to black out. Thomas. Yeah, I was gone at that point. Oh, God. A, a deaf person had to work for Snuffleupagus? Oh, that is fucking terrible, man. Up, at least he couldn't hear or scream at his ass or just scream period miss sitting in the office barefoot eating fucking twinkies and shit oh god we had a manager like that at uh oh mark uh, oh, oh, oh mark. so wait a minute mark i left mark took over i came back when mark left so yeah i wasn't there for that so i don't know what happened to the to, to thomas because he was gone by the time I got there. Nobody will know, Cap. <laughs> it's just two people. The fuck today? Cap. Do you have any good customer stories? Oh, Jesus Christ. Customer stories. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> got a job that's, at that's ZF. What's wants. ZF? You using all these abbreviations. I, I'm, I'm not hip to all this shit. You're younger than me. Oh, well, what's What the hell is ZF? I mean, Steve, you don't let us say the real names of the store. <laughs> Other people can say it. We just can't say it. We can't control the chat. Well, we can, <laughs> but. 
Z of transmission. Still, okay. No. Um, don't get me started on Snuffy. That is Russell Zom's favorite manager ever. And yeah, my favorite, my favorite manager ever is the one that I work for currently. Um, Christ. The fuck today? How's business? <laughs> Y'all doing well? Have you killed? Have you have you have you killed any associates yet? Are you too busy being a life coach? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you're the crapper. Space boot was number one. Oh my God. Space boot. That is a story and a half right there. Gotta be careful. Never know who's watching. <laughs> huh. um, hit us with it. Hit us. Hit us with hit it. Hit us with it. Um, all right, everybody type one in chat if yes. Oh God. Ah, damn, Russell. Yeah, you know what? Me and Russell may be. Oh, hold on a second. Is there a great store that you loved that is no longer around, and what was good about it? Oh wow. Um, I actually got an answer to that. Uh, I do too. Um, it, are you talking mass merchant? Or are you just talking any engine? Are you talking about like a big name? Blockbuster. That's a good one. Archer, if I could give you the biggest thumbs up ever, that's the exact one I was going to say. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. That, that That's a good one, Russell. Um, if we're talking like mass merchant retailers, um, I would say my top ones would be Radio Shack. Uh, because I'm a geeky, like electronic person and it was really cool going in there. Um, trying to think what else was there. Ooh, Camelot music. And let's see, my final would be a local music store we had here called music maker, the sold guitars and amps and stuff like that. Um, circuit city, I mean, not circuit city, uh, radio shack, for all the electronic doodads and stuff you could do, my my dad worked in the telecommunications industry, so I grew up around electronics and, and repairs and things like that. So I got into all that stuff. It was cool if you needed a capacitor or whatnot. You know, you go to Radio Shack and you can get it. Now you have to order that shit online. It's not like you can walk into Walmart and say, yeah, I need, you know, a, a four-ohm capacitor for such. Nope, you can't do that. You can't go in and buy circuit boards and shit like that. So that was cool. Um you know, music maker was just a local mom and pop music store that had really good prices and a really, really cool staff. Um, and it was great because when they were open, there was this group of elderly guys that were all bluegrass players and being a guitar player, you know, I go in there looking at stuff and whatnot and they'd sit down and these old guys would just fucking tear it up. They were just awesome. And they'd be like, hey, buddy, you want to come play? Nope, I'm quite all right. You guys do what you do because you couldn't touch them. They were just that damn good. So, and easily. Yes, Russell. That is correct. Um, see, uh, servers, merchandise what was up? cool. Blockbuster, I think we all agree, was great. Um, you know, for me with Blockbuster, that was during the days of, uh, you know, Nintendo 64 games and stuff. KB Toys. KB Toys, that's another one. I was going to mention KB toys was great. I'm stealing the ones I was going to mention. <laughs> what about Babbage's? Anybody remember Babbage's or electronics boutique? I remember electronics boutique, but do y'all remember Funko land? I remember Funko land. I absolutely remember Funko land. That was GameStop before it was GameStop. Well, no, that's not entirely true. Babbage's became GameStop yeah, too. Because it went, GameStop went in and swooped everybody games. up. Babbage's and yeah, e went in, it went, EB games. Yeah. Yeah, I went Funko Land to EB Games to GameStop. Oh, what about restaurants? Um, oh, is there now is there a store that is gone now that you thought was the spawn of Satan and you're glad it's gone? Hmm. That's a good one. Um That's actually something I'm trying to think of off. But but it's hard because evil always survives. So they're still all out there. Um yeah, I only shopped at places I liked, so I don't really have any um, 
Brindles. That's a good one. Um, oh, here's somebody. If anybody on this chat is old enough to know what I am, AC Moore is not the spawn of Satan. I loved AC Moore. Shut up. <laughs> um, let's see if anybody knows what this is. Sam Solomon. Does anybody here know what Sam Solomon is? I do not. Sky City. TGNY. Nope. Roses. Oh, there's you one. Roses would, would qualify in the, the the spawn of Satan. They were pretty shitty. Fuck. What was the name of that god awful store here in Hiram? What was the name of that god awful store? In Hiram? That clothes store. That'd be Kmart. That was <laughs> No 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 no. <laughs> no no, it was a clothes store. It's a clothes store that was beside the Walmart, Steve. That is now an errands, but it used to be a clothes store. I can't remember it. If I could remember the name of that store, that's, that store was straight from hell. And another one of my Spawn of Satan stores, TJ Maxx. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, nice. God. Ooh, uh, Roses is still around. Yes, I will never forget. My wife and I went to a trip for a, in a cabin, like in the remote mountains of Georgia. And Roses had been like non-existent for years. And we pull up in this like little fucking podunk town and there's a roses. And of course, working in retail, I'm like, Hey, we got nothing better to do. Let's go in there. And you walk in. It's like the store that time forgot. It's like the oldest fucking fixtures you will ever see. And we're walking around. I'm just walking around going like, what is this shit? It's like a, a time capsule. Like this is awful. Um, but I forgot who bought roses. Um, it's one of the discount retailers. Um, the same people that own, was it DD's DD's bargains or something like that? I think it's the same company that owns roses now. Um, and they kind of bought the name. Yeah. Roses is dirty. Huh? That was scary. Um, not going to lie. Um, AC Moore. Okay. I, I want to throw this out here because I've had this conversation with other people before. If you've worked in retail, I would like to go on record as saying that AC Moore had the best ordering and replenishment system of any retailer I've worked in in my entire 30 years. Because if you were a department manager, you got to go order and everything was direct from vendor. So you got to think this is craft merchandise. All right. So if you had a certain line of stickers that were made by like EK success or whatnot, you had a dollar amount that you could order. Okay. And until you hit that dollar amount, anything you order wouldn't come. Well, the department managers had the ability to go order their aisles and order their sections or whatnot. But the beautiful thing about it was since everything was direct from vendor, you didn't have like these full 52 foot fucking semis pull up to the back door. You would get maybe 10, 15 boxes from UPS for your department one day and then another 10 the next day. And it was split up during the course of the week. And it was the most amazing thing. I have seen in all of retail. I haven't seen anything like that before nor since. And it worked amazingly well. Plus two, if you ran a department, you could run reports. And if you had an item that didn't sell, you could discontinue it yourself. All you had to do is show the store manager. I haven't sold any of these in X amount of weeks. And you put a line through the barcode and you didn't have to ever order it fucking again. Greatest thing I have ever seen. There's no other companies done it. It's a shame that they sold out and they didn't expand because that's one of my favorite jobs. It was great. Um, absolutely amazing what they did. And if you had good department managers, man, you were on point, but you didn't have to worry about like, you've got to get a truck processed in X amount of hours because you got five, 10 boxes a day. I honest to God in that job, Alex, you're going to love this. I got paid to sit in a craft room after my freight was done and color. I got paid to color. I got paid to make scrapbook pages. It, it, it was crazy, but all my work was done and you could do these different things to put up as displays for your department. You know, those scratch off foil things that you do or whatnot. Like I got paid to sit there and do Spider-Man and Batman full thingies. Awesome. Fucking great. Uh, but could you build Legos though? Yes, I could. I have kids. 
<laughs> hey, if I could build Legos for a living, I'd do it. Hey, well, you know, Lego store's always hiring. <laughs> Uh, Brindle's was good. Quincy's. Quincy's was a great restaurant. Big fat yeast rolls. But I preferred Ryan's. Just to let you know, Russell, my wife and I, we have domestic disputes about that one. She likes Quincy's better. I think Ryan's is better. I think the food bar, the salad bar was great. I think Golden Corral's better than that. Golden Corral's fucking nasty, dude, especially in this day and time. I mean, it's like you got people sticking feet in the chocolate fountain and stuff. Fuck that. No. <laughs> no nope. Nope. <laughs> Oh, there's no way oh. I would eat a Golden Ooh, Corral. Ooh, that place in Verde. Here's a restaurant for you guys. Old Country Buffet. Anybody remember that? That was some good fucking eats. And it just disappeared. Just vanished. Poof, gone. Hey, Steve, do you by chance, when you was here in Hiram... Yes. <laughs> do you by chance remember Philly Connection? love philly connection but i i don't like okay you guys can cuss me call me names whatever i don't like philly cheesesteak all right my wife does she loved philly connection oh, but philly God. philly connection had this chicken hoagie that was fucking amazing i would get it it was chicken cheese mayonnaise and mushrooms with oregano greatest shit ever yeah yeah exactly low exactly that's why it yeah. I haven't been to Golden Corral in literally two years now. It, it it's reason. it's for your health benefit that you don't go back. Oh, there's oh, no way I would go. We we, we talk you about food though. I would like to go on record saying the best burger. Best burger comes from Ted's Montana Grill. Thank you. Mic drop. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Boom. Five guys. <laughs> no. Ted's Montana Grill shits all over Five Guys. Have you ever eaten at Ted's? What what, is, what even is that, Steve? <laughs> you live there. You do not know what Ted's Montana Grill is? No. Okay, do you know who Ted fucking Turner is? Yes. You know, Turner Field in Atlanta, right? It's... Oh, I'd have to go to Atlanta. That's No, no, that's, no. That's Turner strange. Field, right? Yeah. Ted's yeah. Montana Grill is Ted Turner's restaurant chain. There's one in Kennesaw. The next time you're there, oh, okay. go. I promise you, go. It will change your life. You want to know something great? There's still nope. one Philly connection. There, there's no burger place in Greenville that comes close. I'm just letting you guys know. If any of you venture to the Atlanta market, go find a Ted's, get a burger, and come back and talk to me. Dude, yeah, we have a Philly connection still in Kennesaw. <laughs> Where? <laughs> so I drive. I promise you, it's by the Kroger on uh, Shiloh. No, that's gone, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, we don't want to get to that story. That's a long time ago, man. Don't be calling people out for that shit. That was back when I had like pretty hair and stuff. All right. Uh, all right. All right. So, so quick story since she brought it up. So my wife is, is very tolerant of me. All right. She pretty much despises all the music I, I listen to, but I, I force her. Hey, listen to this. This is great. Da, 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 da. So she was pregnant <laughs> and she got me tickets to see Paul Stanley show of hands. Who in the chat knows who the fuck Paul Stanley is? Props if you do. Um, so Paul Stanley was doing a solo tour and was coming to Tabernacle in Atlanta. And uh, my wife got me tickets and it was great. And, you know, because I'm a huge Kiss fan and just just get that out of the way. Um, good job the fuck today. But so beforehand, <laughs> we went to... Um, but nobody came. Nobody came to what? Anyway. Uh, we go to Ted's. And my wife would get... She likes spicy stuff. And they have this, They had, a, at the time, a burger called a Spike Box. And I'm not sure what all was on it. I do know jalapenos were on it. She loved it. But back in that time, 
I had trench coats and my beard and my hair was all like this dark auburn color and I wore eye makeup and all this other crazy random shit that I was doing playing rock star. Oh, Steve was a Steve was an interesting human being. I was. I literally used oh. to call him Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were not the only one. Um she worked with an employee that was um foreign they called me Dracula. But anyway, um so we go to this restaurant and my wife is eating this fucking burger that's like loaded with peppers and shit. And, you know, her thanks to fuck today. Um, but her mouth's on fire and shit. I mean, she's eating like all the spicy stuff. And the waitress kept refilling my drink and talking to me, but wouldn't refill my wife's drink. It's been a long time ago, but I do believe I wound up speaking to the manager or whatnot. I don't remember what happened, but it was extremely obvious and it was terrible. So that was our worst Ted's experience, but only that one. All, all the rest of them have been great. So she trying to embarrass people pulling that shit up, but all right, whatever. Hell, my trench coat's retired now. I don't even know where the fuck it's at. Skull and crossbones, great. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That coat. I that totally wear the trench coat. <laughs> that trench coat would swallow you whole. Uh, you sure about that? Yeah, I am. I'm six five and a half, son. <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember, Steve, at Kmart when I bought that one trench coat from the Goodwill? Oh, God, <laughs> to, yes, I do. To do the impersonation. Oh, oh yeah. 6'3". <laughs> Tall people unite. That's what's up. What else you guys oh, yeah, got? Clutch, play. uh, so, clutch plays basketball. A lot like you did, Steve. I did. Hey, they're, they're what, tall, dark, and scary, yeah. Um, I went through a period of time in my life where I slept with a basketball. I averaged 36 points per game. True story. Jesus. Yep. What position did you play? Power forward. Yes, sir. If I played, I'd be a point but, guard. But during those days... Tall, lanky, white guys aren't supposed to shoot three pointers. Um, wrong. I practice three pointers a lot. I actually had something called, and th this is a funny story, um, that my friends called the ugly shot. <laughs> and it was all right. If you're familiar with the basketball <laughs> court, where the top of the key is, I would run like perpendicular let's say i was let's say you're looking at the goal and i was on the left side of the court i would run from the left side of the court stop at the top of the key jump off my left foot throw the basketball like a baseball like this and hit it about 70 percent of the time and my friends called it the ugly oh, shot and that's what I would do. I, I mean, I, I, I played basketball every single day, man. I mean, I, I loved the sport, and I was tall, and I was good at it. And, it, you know. Whoa, the fuck today. Basketball Whoa. sucks. Whatever. How can you say that during the month of March? <laughs> um, but, but my love for basketball changed. You know, uh, you see Russell there at Bird. You know, I was around when the Dream Team really happened. You know, I came up, I remember laying in my bed with a radio underneath my pillow because I was supposed to be asleep listening to North Carolina win their national championship with Jordan. And that's the thing. Jordan wasn't a first round draft pick, but uh, when they beat Georgetown and, you know, I played ball morning, noon, night. I mean, that's, that's just such a rebel. Thanks. But anyway. Um, but something happened with basketball where it became more showboat than team. And I just got out of it at first. It started at first. I stopped watching pro ball and then oh, Brett, Brett, where are you at? Get back yeah. in this chat right now, please. I used, <laughs> I used to love, uh, the tournament NCAA tournament. But when it got to the point where you had guys coming in and playing one year and going pro and whatnot, it just kind of cheapened it, and I just I just kind of fell out of love with it, which sucks. But I am proud to say it's been a couple of years now. I am proud to say that the last time I picked up a basketball, I can still go. 
for the dream team today. You still dunk threes. Yeah, I wasn't a dunker, man. I I, <laughs> I I was a hook shot guy. I was a three point guy. I was uh, like Boban Marjanovic. No, um, I was more Christian Leitner, maybe. <laughs> Christian Leitner, Bill Lambeer. <laughs> Is this your shot, Steve? Just like. I will say my biggest claim to fame was there was a point in time where I quit smoking, which I do need to do again, but, um, I had gained a lot of weight and Alex, this would shock you to hear this. I was sitting about two fifty at one point in time. I quit smoking for six months and this was way, way back yonder. My ex wife, brother, we went over to their house and it was him and a bunch of his high school friends, right? And I'm like probably, uh, I guess, 31, 32, somewhere around there. I don't know. And we went over there, and I was wearing khaki pants, Sebago shoes, and like a Oxford button-up shirt or some shit like that. And the kids kept running their mouth and talking shit. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> fine. Let's fucking play. And Steve has to take his old man cane. And <laughs> no, it was four. It was four versus one. It was four high school dudes versus me. Oh, I I don't believe this for a second. I, Video okay, didn't happen. Okay, I know. Whatever, that's fine. I have witnesses to the fact. Okay, so if I need to get these people involved to let you know it happened, it happened. But it's four on one. But here was the key. It was make it, take it. All right. So that that's easy. If you've got a good shot the, and you're the, playing, hit him with the ugly shot. Well, no, it was a lot of hook <laughs> shots. But anyway, I beat four <laughs> able-bodied high school kids by like five, something like that. But still, and it was so hilarious because I was overweight, and their girlfriends were all there watching and shit, and they just got the shit embarrassed out of them. I was just like, okay, guys, whatever, fine, don't do that again. <laughs> So Steve sounding crazy. Steve telling truth. <laughs> Steve could ball. <laughs> Steve could ball. Steve couldn't ball now probably to save his life. I probably could still shoot. Oh, Steve. But I would like oh, pass Steve, out and next die. Time, next, next time you come to Georgia, we gotta play some basketball. Last time I played ball I am god awful. You could cross me up now, yeah. I'm fifty fucking years old. I would hope you could cross me up if you couldn't. You got a problem, son. <laughs> you know, oh, clutch, you would destroy me on the court. My dude. my my you. knees my knees are shot, man, and that's the bar. That's the bad part about being tall is the 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 wear and tear on the knees. And that's the bad and, part about being a monster. And let me tell you something too. I played church ball, and church ball is rougher than any high school ball could ever hope to be. I will never forget the worst thing to ever have me playing church ball was. We were playing some team and I had a fast break and I was coming down to the right side of the court and there was this guy with like this, like crew cut or whatnot and braces. And we were all assholes when we were younger and we, we called him Sergeant teeth. All right. Cause he needs braces. And then, <laughs> this fucker, as I'm driving down the court score, he literally runs up to me. I mean, full speed with his arms crossed like this and it was right into me, into the bleachers. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so that suck balls but i got oh, out yeah. of it clutch oof Tra yeah, you are 100 percent correct mr zom church balls like rodman and the pistons it's great it is it's it's rough man it's rough I, i'll never forget like we had one game that we played that uh i had the flu and my dad was the coach for the church team and he made me sit the entire first half because I was sick and I was pissed off. I was like, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. Second half we played and I think I want to, I think I did like 28 that game. Something like it. it was like 25 or 28 points that game in the second half. And we lost and it came down to, we were down by 36 at halftime. That's how bad it was. Um, we came back and we only lost that game by, uh, I think it was 10. 10 or 12 it was something like that we just flat out ran a time we got we got hot 
But your time just ran out. You just couldn't catch up after being down that low. And after that game, I went straight to the bathroom and threw up for like a solid hour in this church gym. Gross. <laughs> Oof. I played it a few best games ever finished with a bloody nose. Yep, it happens. I remember the very first game I played in church ball, um, one of my teammates broke the opposing teammate's guard's arm. Pushed him into a stage. I was like, ooh, that sucks. <laughs> my team don't know how to keep a lead after halftime. What was that? I, I, saw, Pearl. I saw something come through a little bit ago. Denon, what did you say about hockey? I'm not a hockey fan, but I, I missed the question. I, everybody's like chatting. What I didn't see it. Can you see it, Alex? Well, I'd have to. I can actually go to the YouTube real quick, and I can see if I can see it. My team don't know how to keep a lead after halftime. Who's your team? I don't watch pro anymore. Oh, Clutch? Yeah. No, no. He don't. He ain't talking about pro. He actually plays on a team. Oh, really? Like, I think I remember him telling me, he said he made a varsity or something. It was either varsity or he made his main team. And he's like trying to play for a college. It's like Ooh, right next to it. Fractured my orbital socket play. Oh, JV. Cool, man. You enjoy it? Um, fractured orbital socket by playing softball. My wife took a line drive to the face, right into the teeth playing softball. She was a pitcher. When you get playing time. I didn't think I'd like ice hockey until I went to a game. But in 10 minutes, I was able to take the life of another human being. To quote George Carlin, love ice hockey now. That's what Jay Dennis said about ice, ice hockey. Ice hockey is like wrestling on skates, man. Oh, dude. The only time I ever went to one, I was chanting ECW the whole time. My team sucks. That's here's the thing. I didn't play. I didn't clutch. Just stand out. I, uh, you know, I had issues. See, there's politics everywhere you go. There were politics in high school where you had guys that played football that because the seasons kind of overlapped, they were automatically given spots on the basketball team without having trying out. So I just quit. I said, fuck it. Uh, I didn't think it's right. Cause I grew up playing rec ball through the system and there were a lot of good players that should have played. They didn't get to because the football players took precedent. They never had to take, you know, show up to practice at all. And that's where I wound up getting in church ball and church ball. It was brutal. I was actually at one point in time playing church, like youth league, because I was right at that age where I could play church youth, but I could also play church adult. And I will never forget. I played my first church adult game. Um, the guy that was guarding me had played for Arizona state. And this guy was like earthquake, the wrestler. <laughs> and, and he like kicked me like I don't want to shoot. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? It was brutal, man. Russian wrestling basketball league. Um, I've seen best Russian comedians Kong. ever. <laughs> George Carlin was fucking great, man. Fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, basketball was a thing for me. And then I got into music, and after after I got into music, uh, it was all over. So, yeah. Speaking of, Alex, had you yes, sir. did you see anything from the AEW pay per view? I did not. <laughs> um, NFL or NBA? I'm gonna say NFL, even though I don't watch anymore because my Cowboys suck balls. Um, and Deshaun Watson's getting screwed in Houston, but. Uh, college football is better. Plain and simple. Yeah, college football is my jam, too. Georgia about to get put on probation. I don't care anybody said. That shit that came out with that coach from Valdosta, that's going to be ugly. It's going to be bad. Buffalo Bills. Oh, look at that, Mr. Denon. Got your Buffalo Bill fan here. Um, But, yeah. Uh, a AEW last night. Cinematic match. Darby Allen and Sting versus... Oh, yeah. I figured you'd be watching AEW because of Sting. Dude. <laughs> dude. You should see... The match was so well done. It was great. Sting got the fucking Scorpion Deathlock for the win. Bitches. Oh, AEW's actually letting him win. Yeah. Oh, and guess who showed up last night? 
Christian Ew. Christian Cage, sir. Chris, oh, wow. Christian signed with AEW. And Paul White, AAK the Giant, is now with AEW. And AEW actually trademarked Captain Insano. Nice. Panthers finally nice. without Cam. I'd love to see Deshaun Watson go to the Panthers. Probably not going to happen. Um, I really would like to see Deshaun Watson go to the Cowboys, honestly. Dak Prescott can fuck off. Um, Buffalo Bills was a fan Damn. when um, C.J. Spiller played for him. That woman's football league is great. Watson the Bears. I'd love to see Watson go to the Bears. I'd like to see him. Um, South Carolina. Alex, what state are you in, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm in Georgia. Yeah. He's in South Carolina. So, um, but Cam, hey, look, we got to give credit where credit's due. All right. Brady left the Patriots. They got Cam. We see what happens there. And Brady's first season at Tampa Bay. <laughs> Boom. Um, yeah. I'm in the USA. JJ Watt to go to Buffalo. You know, it. I'll be honest with you. If their quarterback situation wasn't so solid, it wouldn't surprise me to see Deshaun Watson go to Arizona as well. Because you'd have JJ Watt, Nuke Hopkins, and Deshaun Watson. So, the fuck today. Cam didn't do shit this year. Yes, he did. He dressed fabulously. That's about it. That's fuck Tom Brady. Changed my mind. Hey, look, I'm not a Brady fan. I, I'm I'm really not. But son of a bitch, man, he 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 goes down to Tampa Bay, takes over for Crab Leg Steeler, and Tampa Bay wins the Super Bowl. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, you can't really argue that. I mean, I don't like the guy. I didn't like New England. Um. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. But. You just get, you just got to respect. Yeah. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is fucking awesome, but the sad part is Deshaun Watson was like the league leader in most of the stats last year on a losing team. If Deshaun Watson could play for a team that was worth a shit, he going to win a Super Bowl. Yep. Clutch. No cap. I agree. He, he, yep. uh, you can't argue it, man. You can't. It, also, it, also Brett. Uh, women's softball is where it's at. Um, yeah, I catch myself watching the World Series for women's softball. That year, Auburn actually made it like to the finals. If I'm not if I'm not out. mistaken, this is Clemson's first year with a softball team. Oh wow! Yeah, and they're and they're doing well. And they just have Dabo in disguise coaching that too. You leave Dabo to fucking alone, son. By the way, speaking of Dabo, <laughs> he was talking about practice day. He said the DJ makes Trevor look normal. That's something I'm sorry. I'm, Steve, I, I don't believe look, that. you can take this to the bank right now. Period. DJ, DJ Uwe Angalalele is going to wind up being the greatest quarterback in Clemson football history. He is going to be a combination of Cam He's Newton, Deshaun Christ. Watson, and Trevor Lawrence. And it's going to be fucking frightening. Wow. Wow. Trevor was is overrated. No. no. Trevor was not overrated. Trevor's a great quarterback. Trevor's problem this year was his offensive line sucked. Trevor's a fantastic quarterback. Trevor's going, Trevor, Trevor's going to the Falcons. No, well, Trevor's going to the Jags. I, I just pictured, I, th I thought Trevor should probably play for somebody like Denver. I mean, Trevor needs to be on one of those like franchise-like famous teams. Not like the Jaguars or whatever. He needs to play for like Dallas or Denver or, you know, um, who, who's the San Francisco or whatnot? Oh well, then how come KB couldn't do nothing with him? He had great receivers this year. He did not. Most of the starting receivers were injured the entire year. And by the way, I want to see a crazy sport. Google Irish hurling and watch a video. I will do that when this video is over. I would, I would like to check that out. So uh, Mr. Denon, 
Um, I'm assuming soccer is huge there. Um, what other sports? I mean, do you cover a lot of American sports there? I mean, like what's popular? And just for anybody that's wondering, Mr. Denon is in Ireland. Brett only watches softball to look at the ass. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Smackdown. Ooh. I, let's not put stuff like that, Clutch. The fuck today? Let's Why are you such a big like Panthers that. fan? Just because it's re regional? I've never been a Panthers fan. I live close. I'm not. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm sorry. I mean, they've sucked for quite a while, but... You know, and they will until Jerry Jones lets go of it. But that's America's team, man. That's America's ass. Listen, sunshine. <laughs> I got two. I, I got four words for you. Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Panthers did have a great run in 2015. I agree. Watch the videos and receiver stepped five yards to get it again. Why couldn't Russell? <laughs> Yeah, he's right. KB couldn't do shit. KB up playing football in Canada now. Even though, dude, I wanted Kelly Bryant. Because so I remember when off. they started. Oh, I'm originally God. from North Carolina, and the cowgirls suck donkey balls. We gonna fight. We gonna fight. Oof. Oof. I Oof. hey Alex, here's something that's crazy. I still have, and it's in perfect shape too. I don't know who makes it because the tags were off. I still have an Emmett Smith t-shirt that looks almost like it's brand new that I've worn numerous times with the 22 and boarded. See, that's the other thing. My, my a basketball Jersey number was 22 always was since I was a very little kid. And you know, then Emmett Smith wound up having 22 Terry, uh, Perry Tuttle least from the first Clemson national championship had 22 and yep. Yeah, 22 is always one of my thing. At least KB took uh, Clemson to the playoffs, and then got then fair. got his ass fucking whipped. Uh, most of our sports teams are but shit. Rugby, problem. soccer, Irish football, hurling. Not so much American sports. It's hard to find coverage of them. Oh, really? Now, do you guys you're do you guys get Sky TV in Ireland? Because I've watched a lot of stuff on Sky TV over here, and I think it's British. I think hurling was like lacrosse, soccer, golf. What does that even mean? <laughs> and, and see, that's something I get really offended when people call soccer football. I mean, I know that's what it's called elsewhere, but that's just, no, it's not. It's not football. Hey, uh, Clutch, <laughs> you should change your name to Clutch No Cap 43 to 34. Yeah, you should. Uh, or may, or did you want the number 43, but you could only get 34? I like golf more than basketball. Shit. That's a sad existence. But if you, that's what you just do, you, man. Just do you. I like Wii Sports Golf better than basketball. Archer. <laughs> Bridge BS like cricket. See, oh, so so here's the thing. I don't want to have I, I want, I want to go into the Sky golf. TV thing real quick. So here in the U.S., we have cable providers and all that other stuff. Um, I'm one of those people that I haven't had cable television and... 15, 20 years because I can find whatever I want online. And typically there's a website that I go to called sports surge. that has web streams. And what's really interesting is there have been several, several Clemson football games I've watched that the feed comes from sky TV. So it's really weird. That's like Alex, you know, you and I and our Bama friend will be chatting during football season and whatnot. And you know, I'm a few seconds behind you guys because of the streams I'm watching. But that's why, because I get all these like foreign streams, like ESPN on like Sky Network is crazy. We Sports Resort is the best change by mind. You know, I've got it. You I didn't. Correct. I didn't dive into it too much. Um, you are correct. Um, but We Sports greatest Fencing. greatest of all time. It sold more than We Sports Resort. So Lowe's right. You can't argue with him. The sales figures don't lie, even though it was packed in with the fucking Wii. Um, Steve. Yes. Fencing. Uh, Archery. Wii boxing. Why? Will wear a human I being think. out to the point they're lying in the floor gasping for air. 
I, but you know, I, I told Alex, I've told you the story about the Wii with how I set it up when we first got it. Right. Did I tell you the story about how I got my, my oldest son's Wii? The sketchy way I got it? Wasn't that like, didn't you have to be an ultimate Kyle at Christmas time? No. About my, uh, my, I was working at Jesus's craft store and our Brinks guy. I'm, I'm going to get Apex clutch. I'm going to get Apex. So, so here's my Wii, oh. here's my Wii story. All right. So I, I may have covered this before. I may have not, I don't remember, but anyway, long story short, I was a store manager for Jesus's craft store. Our Brinks guy came in to drop off the, pick up the deposits one day. I was talking to him and he had a friend that worked for Toys R Us. And I'm like, I'm really looking for this for my son. He's like, well, here, let me talk to him. He comes back a couple days later and says, here, here's this guy's name. Go up and see him, give him some money. And he'll hold one for you. It's the sketchiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. So I drive to downtown Atlanta to this damn Toys R Us and meet this guy and give him like it was what was it 199 at launch or something like that so i give him like 215 dollars cash like here you know just like i'm gonna do this my, my my wife at the time and she's like yeah you're stupid you shouldn't do that and i'm like I, I i trust this guy so anyway um he says come back on such and such day so i go and the day that i'm supposed to go and i walk in and if it all of it feels so like mafia sketchy like what am i doing it's like just dirty pool kind of bullshit and i walk in and i see the dude i'm like all right here i'm, I'm, I'm here to pick it up it's like a drug deal it was bad but anyway the guy's like i got you and he comes out he's got this bag and then he takes the money and he had held this money the entire time this was like a, over a week and a half and i watch him this is later in the afternoon it's like six seven o'clock an afternoon and he rings it up and i look and he's like oh shit this is we and he hands it to me he's like don't let this slip out of the bag on your way out of the parking lot because it's atlanta and i'd get mugged for a fucking Wii at that point in time and i'm like why yeah and he's like well we only got x amount in this morning to sell and then we had a lady who wanted to get two and it was limit one and she got mad because she couldn't buy two and she set the trash cans on outside on fire <laughs> oh okay <laughs> But anyway, so that's how I got my son's Wii. I had already pre-bought mine, and I wasn't giving mine up. He, he, at first, he was like, I don't want a Wii, da, 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 da. and I had mine on launch day, and I still have that same Wii now, and it still works. The only thing I had to do was replace the power supply. But um, so he decided he wanted one, and it took you know an act of God to get it. But anyway, I had, at that point in time, a ViewSonic projector, and the way it was set up was I had this projector sitting on a table, and it was a six foot by eight foot viewing screen. It was huge when you had this thing turned on. So firstly, I had to figure out how to hook the Wii up to this thing. And I had to go to Radio Shack that we talked about earlier and buy parts and actually manufacture a homemade, basically component adapter to run it into this projector. Now, mind you, component cables at the time were 50, 60 bucks. I, I, I built it and it didn't look great. It was ugly, but I built it for like less than 15. So firstly, I had this thing hooked up and I'm like, well, this is great. I've got the Wii hooked up to this projector on this big, huge screen. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, well, fuck the sensor bar has to attach to the Wii. And that's like 10 feet away. How am I going to do that? <laughs> The internet was still fairly young and I went and I found, oh, look, you can cut the wires and you can actually attach a battery. And this is how you tell that it works by using a camera because the camera will pick up the UV, you know, the LEDs they, they, to the visual eye. They don't look like they're on, but with a camera, you can see it. And so, yeah, I actually had a battery pack uh, that hooked up to my Wii sensor bar. And had it on two curtain hooks on the wall underneath the outline of the screen. So I was having friends come over and stuff, play Wii bowling and Wii tennis and shit on like basically a 10 foot screen. It was fucking awesome. Yo. Hold up. Are you I having wish, the I same? I known. Hold on a second. Are you having the same PS5 supply issues as over here? Yes. Scalpers and bots have been taking them. They're extremely, extremely hard to find and you know here's the thing 
they could have waited to probably summer to release the new Xbox and PlayStation 5 because they don't have games for shit. But yes, they're yeah, they exactly. are extremely hard to get here too. And they've got um, bots running on them and it's it's just crazy. Steve, I was just going to let you know, uh, we're running at a... Holy shit, we are. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So, thanks, everybody, for being here. This has been a bullshit fest. It's been great. Um, we'll have more of these. I do need one more associate or manager that's willing to come on with us to have, like, a group thing one night for the Retail war zone. So, if somebody would email me or send me a message or whatnot, that'd be cool. Uh, thanks, everybody, for being here. Remember... Wednesday night's going to be serious. Wednesday night, we're going to go as long as we need to go. Um, we're going to get into the whole female pay thing versus males, and we're also going to get into how women are treated. Uh, basically, I mean, I hate to say it's like a You're piece of meat. To fuck me. So, You're wild. Um, Wednesday's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be heated, but it, it's going to be serious. So, uh, yeah, we went way over tonight than we normally do but thanks you guys being here is a lot of fun we'll do more send alex or me messages what do you guys want to talk about besides if water's wet archer i think we figured that out it depends on the the perception of it and you know a person's perception is their reality so <laughs> that is what it is yeah uh, funny story i licked the battery Steve, hold, a second, hold a second hold on funny story i licked the battery today to prove and I, you got to go to the bathroom don't you alex i licked the battery today to <laughs> prove an item actually worked and the customer had dead batteries yep that happens fun stuff all right guys so we're gonna get out of here so everybody can go to the bathroom and whatnot we're gonna do ufo soon it's coming russell it's a totally different channel it's coming so everybody have a great night, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bring your friends. It's going to be hot. Got anything, Alex? Yeah. Uh, nothing really. Just if they if we get asked a question, we'll talk about it on stream next time. Yep. Because I totally missed out on that, and I would have loved to have been there for that. But anywho, all right. All right, everybody. Everybody have a great night. We'll see you Wednesday. All right.